that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu traveled whole India. Also, you know that Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur, he also traveled whole life, whole India, and sent his representative to Europe, America, everywhere. One of his hand came in Western countries first. His name was Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. From New York to Los Angeles, everywhere here, and all countries over on the on the all mountains in ocean, everywhere he. Priest. Following their path, I am also coming. Everywhere, where Bhakti Vedan Swami has gone or not gone, even in that place. Why? What, are, what is the purpose to go? Why Narada Rishi traveled everywhere? Why Nirgun Prabhu? First word audience. Gurve Gura Chandraya Dari Kai Tarala. My bhart no. My bhart Krishna Bhaktaya Tarabhaktaya Namuna Maha. Gurudev, he is asking why uh, Shiva Prabhupada and his divine self are going everywhere in this world. And I'm thinking, Krishna, he never comes. He, he stays in his place. Oh, but Gurudev, he is very merciful. Uh, he is the walking Bhagavatam. One Bhagavatam stays on the shelf. And the other one, he walks through the world. So he is so much more valuable. And so this is the mercy of Gurudev. And without his mercy, who would ever receive this divine message to awaken us up and help us drop off all these illusory coverings? So here we are at the 12th festival of New Braj. And for these 12 years, an unprecedented uh, continuous flow of nectar has been coming from Srila Gurudev's mouth. And even, we are not qualified to receive this divine nectar, but he is also making us qualified so that we can taste this nectar. Gradually. Um, nobody could ever repay Srila Gurudev, for this divine gift. We will know this more and more as it goes on because uh, there is no repayment for such a matchless gift that he is giving us. Uh, we can all, tr our duty as sadhaks is to try to be humble and submissive, to render service and follow, and to be enthusiastic and have a serviceable attitude in our, in our, our service. This is all we can do. But still, it'll never be repayment for a gift that cannot be received in this material world. So we're extremely happy, and uh, however he wants us to dance, we will dance. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking that Gurudev. I've read something very sweet that actually, even if you try to get away from Gurudev, oh, he has very long arms. <laughs> Gurudev's arms are very long and he'll catch you and bring you back. This is his mercy. So we are all very lucky. And uh, even though we are not, I am not so Krishna consciousness, I, I feel very fortunate to be here. And 
I uh, pray that you will all have your have mercy on me also and give me your blessings. All I can say is Jaya Shilu Gurudev. Thank you Speak two words. So I offer my unlimited obeisances under His Divine Grace, Shri Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and to His Divine Grace, Shri Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. He has uh, introduced some question: Why are there great acharyas throughout the ages, traveling throughout the world, to liberate unlimited persons? Bhaktivinoda Thakur says in Jaiva Dharma that the only way to get Nitya Sukriti is in relationship to a Maha Sadhu. So he is traveling around the world, saving everyone. There is unlimited stories about what a moment of Sadhu Sangha can do. Just the slightest little service. But our Divine Grace, he is trying to push us forward into the realm of pure Bhakti. And in my case, it's he is dragging me, and this is the most wonderful of all opportunities to make spiritual advancement. Therefore, I thank everyone for coming. They will all give me blessings and His divine grace for His unlimited mercy to this condition, so is and to me. Omega Tamarandasya, Gnanjana Shalakaya, Chakshur and Militam Yena, Tazmai Shi Gurudevina. Gurudev is asking why himself, Srila Prabhupada, and Narada Muni, personalities in our life, travel all over the world. Uh, for those of us who have had the good fortune recently to go out and meet the public, something is very special that's happening. There's a new receptivity, there's a new energy. Um, uh, years ago, after Prabhupada left, the spiritual current that he put forth into this world had stopped. There was confusion, uh, misrepresentation by unqualified personalities. Now Gurudev is traveling all over the world so many times, and it's had its effect. The people in general now are ripe, and it's a very exciting time for us to be part of this Sankirtan movement of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But also those of us who have a shelter are experiencing something very special too. Once in Mathura, when Srila Gurudev was giving class, at the end of his class he said, Eastern Kartik, he said, uh, to be hopeless is offense, is aparad. You should think, my Gurudev has planted the seed of pure bhakti in my heart. And in time, it will fructify. And referring to myself, I think he said, for some it may take a little longer, but it will happen. <laughs> so the next year when I saw Gurudev, I was ready. And he came up to me and he said, how are you? So I went, my Gurudev has planted the seed of pure bhakti in my heart. And Gurudev went, oh, very nice. <laughs> so hopefully I scored a few points on that one. but. But when you think about what our situation is, uh, personalities like myself with unlimited operads, countless um, tendencies towards impersonalism, and so many uh, horrible samskars, for a personality like this to actually aspire even for selfless, to become the selfless, dedicated, cooperative particle of love and affection for the pleasure of Radha and Krishna is inconceivable. But Dev, he can make the impossible possible, and this is his mission. And we're so fortunate that his intention for us is greater than our opposing tendencies and the misgivings that are so prominent. So Prabhupada once was asked, how come you don't do any miracles like Jesus Christ? And probably went, these are my miracles. So Gurudev is performing so many miracles, we're all experiencing it. 
And somehow or other, hope is there, despite all material calculation. Just like in the Bhagavad Gita, by material calculation, the armies of the Kurus were so much greater. They had Bhishma Dev and Drona, but uh, the Pandavas had Krishna on their side. So we're in a very difficult situation, internally and externally, Kali Yuga. But we have Gurudev on our side, and his intention for us will prevail. And the only reason we can even aspire for selfless service is because he's already done something in our hearts. So if I can borrow a page from Sri Padmadav Maharaj's book, I just want to use some little poem and say, I'm mad, I'm bad, and I'm very sad. Please make me glad. Make me yours, Gurudev. Please make me yours. Tamrandasya, Yanangana Shalakaya, Chakshu, Nuitam Jaina, Tasmai Si, Good of Aina Maha. From our humble obeisances and the lotus feet of my Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, and also to my Shikshan Guru, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada. We're so fortunate that Srila Gurudev has come here to grace us again so many times now, the twelfth time. And so many devotees here for the first day. It's very wonderful. So Gurudev was asking this uh, question, why all the great sages and spiritual masters have traveled all over the world. And I was thinking one story that I had heard about our Prabhupada so many years ago, when he first came, he was staying in a room in the downstairs of the Portland uh, temple. And one devotee was cleaning... Uh, his rooms, and he happened to notice a uh, billfold, like a wallet. And he was very curious. He knew he shouldn't be doing this, but his temptation was too strong. And he pulled out from there a piece of paper, and it was uh, folded up many times. And almost like a secret treasure map, he began to slowly unfold it, one piece at a time. And finally, he opened it up, and it was, you could see the paper was curved. Prabhupada had had it a very long time. And when he looked at what was there, he read one beautiful statement, and it said, How to save the world. So, this was our Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada's vision that he had had for so many years, how to save the world. So all of our spiritual masters, this is their purpose, this is their mission, how to save the world, how to bring the jiva souls back to Krishna. So Srila Prabhupada was very expert, he had many weapons. Um, he came and he had prasadam. He captured so many devotees by their tongue. He had the holy name, chanting Hare Krishna. In Tompkins Square Park, he would sit for hours just chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Even he would be sitting there and hippies would be poking him, trying to give him wine and so many things. But he just simply chanted and he attracted so many. But, as Srila Gurudev has pointed out so many times, First, he had to cut so many jungles, but that's not all he came to do, cutting jungles. He also had so many other things to give. <clears throat> Especially, uh, he wanted to give about Krishna and Radharani and the pastimes in Vrindavan. And he did that so expertly in his books. Everything is there in his books, but yet at the same time, gradually he had to bring these things. So, like any expert warrior, he brought his weapons out one at a time, and as the battle got more difficult, then he brought more powerful uh, weapons, just like um, Prabhuji was mentioning about the Mahabharata. So many great warriors fought each other, and each time a battle would continue, then they would bring out a more powerful weapon to finally defeat their enemy. So, when Srila Prabhupada was getting ready to leave this world, he decided to call out his... Um, one of his most powerful secret weapons, Ramastra. He brought, he called Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And he sat with him by his bed and he said, I came to give so much, I've trained them so far, but there's more. They need more to give. Will you, will you help? Will you come? 
And Srila Gurudev very mercifully, although somewhat reluctantly, he said, yes, I will help. <laughs> so now he's come to continue giving what Srila Prabhupada gave and to make it so that everyone could understand it. And he's asked this other question many times. He said, what is the meaning of this Pranam Mantra? Gora Prachant. Goravani Pracharane. What is the deep, deep meaning of this? So I think he's been telling us all so much how Mahaprabhu came and what his mission was and how he invested it into Sri Rupa Goswami Pad and how he's given it down the line of our Guru Varga. So Gurudev is expertly continuing to give us, give us this and there's no better source to hear. We're all so fortunate, so lucky to be here. Please take advantage of this festival. We have classes beginning tonight and then all through the festival, every day, three classes, and then Srila Gurudev in the evening. So there'll be no shortage of wonderful, sweet Harikata headed by Srila Gurudev. Uh, we're here to serve you. Anything we can do, please, uh, please allow us to help. And we look forward to a wonderful festival. And especially our greatest thanks go and appreciation to the great fortune, Srila Gurudev. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Give it to me. First of all, I offer my unlimited Dandavat pronouns unto the lotus feet of my spiritual master. Same unlimited pronouns I offer to the lotus feet of my Shikshikaru. Om Vishnu Bhai Padamahamsa Paravaj Gitari Asvatari <clears throat> um, as far as the question, oh, <laughs> um, pronounced to all um, our Guru Varga and all these civil devotees, um, welcome to Badger. Thank you so much for coming here, um, especially Gurdiv. Um This question Gurdiv has asked, um, I don't, can't look in my heart and find a way to fathom the um, heart of the pure devotees and... Um, but he's told us a few times why he's come. He said that he heard hearts crying. So I've been trying to understand what kind of ears does that take to hear hearts crying? What kind of sensitivity? And as um, Prabhu was saying, Srila Prabhupada's motivation was to save the world. What kind of sensitivity does that mean? And where is that coming from? And we understand um, from Gurudev's teachings and Srila Prabhupada's teachings that in our Gaudiya line, um, one spiritual master, our Srila Gurudev, he is non-different because of his relationship with his Gurudev. In um, their the same in heart, they know. He knows completely his Gurudev's heart because he has pleased his Gurudev. And so we understand that this desire to distribute um, bhakti and to save the world is coming from his Gurudev, the Gurudev's Gurudev, Shiva Bhakti Siddhanta, and Ashwa Prabhupada, and all the way, Shiva Bhakti, all the way, Bhakti Nathakura, all the way up the way to Shri Ranka herself and Krishna. So something. There must be a um, clue to the mystery in this line of hearts. And so um, one time, also Gurudev explained to us in Australia that um, well, some reporter was asking, what is your mission? What, what are you trying to accomplish? And Gurudev said, uh, my mission is the same mission as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. My mission is to distribute love and affection. And he said, the greatest expression of this love and affection is the hearing 
the, re, the giving and the he receiving of Hare Kita. So um, we are so fortunate for now 12 years. We've had been under the guidance and um, used our fairly useless ears that were um, to hear his Hare Kita and um, trying to understand what what kind of ears are required to actually hear hearts crying from such long distance. Thank you. Thank you. Gyanati Mirandasya Gyananjana Salakya Chakshurun Miritam Dena Tasmai Shibruve Namaha First of all, offering my thousands of dandavatanams unto the lotus feet of my Guru Padma Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj to all Guru Parampara and to all the assembled devotees um, I'd like to express my gratefulness, my gratitude First of all, feel the Guru Dev and then, of course, to all the assembled devotees, because if it wasn't for all of you coming, then also Sri Gurudev wouldn't come here. So all of you actually make this festival possible. So I know that you have appeared is so rare that if you don't feel the proper gratitude, then it's very hard to actually receive that sangha. I know that in the Upadesh Amrita Rupa Goswami describes the most paramount dham, the, the realm in this world, which is goes up to Sri Vrindavan, Sri Govardhan, and Sri Radha Kund. But really, Vrindavan, Radha Kund, and Govardhan, they all reside in the heart of a sadhu. So today, and for seven days onward, here in, in Badger, this will be Vrindavan, this will be Radha Kund. And there will be no better place to be in the world than this place here in Badger. Very, very fortunate, but at the same time, hearing from a sadhu or simply coming to this festival, most people think of this, or many of those people who are working in the world, full time jobs, they think of this as a vacation, coming here for seven days, not any work, we can only listen and hear. But actually, this is not a vacation. This is where the work actually starts. This is where sadhan bhakti actually starts, so it's a very, very serious thing. And to properly understand, to properly hear, really, Guru says, Why has he come? He comes and he delivers everything through his Harikata. So most important, everyone comes here, of course, you can associate with the devotees. We'll try to make very nice preparations, prasadam, so everyone feels comfortable. But really, this is all only to make the atmosphere more favorable so we can hear Harikata coming from Srila Gurudev's lotus mouth. And this will give us eternal benefit. So, I hope we can do this and everyone can be happy enough. And... We can properly take this Harikata, we just sung Guru, um, this Guru Puja, Guru Mukha Padma Bhaktiya Chite Te Kuriya Eka, Arana Kuriya Mani Asha. So really, those words emanating from Gurudev's mouth, they should become one with our life. And what that means is not only we come, we hear Harikata and it goes through one ear, and goes out the other ear, we don't remember anything. Really the proper way to make a trail from your ear down to your heart, because that's where we have to store all these things, is to continuously hearing, and at the same time, try to endeavor in your own life to practically follow those instructions which we are given. Because if we simply hear, we jump up and down, we eat some raskulas, then we go home and this week will pass like any other week. So it's a very, very rare opportunity, but only those who are very serious to take this opportunity will receive some benefit. And Srila Gurudev is so merciful. I know um, Nanda Maharaj, he said one shloka mentoring Gargamuni. Mahadvitalanam Grinam Grihinam Dina Chaitasam Nishreya Shaya Bhagavan Anya Takalpate Vajit. That those the Sopha Mahanta Sophava Te Adina Paman. The the Sophava Vasadu is to go from house to house because we're so fallen, we heard of the glories of Rajadam, but still we can't go there. We're too entangled in our lives, our children, our family, our work, so it's not possible for us to go there. We're too fallen. So Srila Gurudev, all the Mahantas, like Narada Muni. Narada Muni not only travels in this world, but the whole universe. 
and search for people who are in need of help. They see these people, they're so fallen, they can't even come to Vrindavan, so I have to go to them. So he comes and he gives Harikata in the form of Harikata. This is actually the, the medicine for liberation from all sufferings. Those people who are averse to Bhagavan, he, he makes them up, um, face towards Bhagavan. And our condition is so sad. It's also said, Atharma That means it's very, very, not only it's sad, but he says, Sudhu Kitasya. It's most sad because even though they're engaged in all, these suffer, in all these works, which is only bringing suffering, they think that they're happy. So what is the hope for them? They can never deliver themselves. So out of compassion, seeing our condition, these great souls like Srila Gurudev, they come and they do whatever they can. I know myself at least, it takes so much more than just hearing. It takes beating and mulling into place. And somehow or other though, he never gives up. So I'm very indebted to Srila Gurudev and I pray to all the Vaishnavas to please make me a proper recipient by giving me their mercy so I can properly hear Srila Gurudev's classes also practice them in my own life and continue to serve you all the devotees. I'm very happy that so many devotees are here. More than San Francisco, Los Angeles, even town, a city. But here more. So many, so many faces here I'm seeing. Some new also. I'm very happy. I think this place is Braja. I, that is why I come. Yeah. From beginning, perhaps it is twelve. Twelve years. Twelve years. Twelve years. Twelve years. Twelve From beginning, when I came first America, I also came here. The school had banned that. Don't give any place to Narayan Maharaj. <laughs> but Nirgun Prabhu. And like Narad Rishi, he cannot huh? stay anywhere. <laughs> he hosted me. I cannot retain him. And then I'm preaching here. So this place is better. Nothing artificial you see. Like Girad mountain here, Jamna river also, <laughs> and all kinds of facilities, natural are here. In Srimad Bhagavat it has been written that when Krishna took birth, in Gokul, from the home of Mother Yasoda, and Baldev Prabhu took birth from the home of Rohini Maya. After six or seven days, Garga Charya came to Gokul. Seeing him, Nanda Baba respected so much. He worshipped him, took his feet water on his head and everywhere in his house, and prayed him, Bhavadidha Bhagavata Tithi. Swam Prabhu, Tirthi Kurvantu, Tirthi Means, you have nothing to take from anyone. You are self-satisfied. No desire to take anything from anyone. 
But you come in our houses of Grihastha, who are always thinking in his children, in their children's wife, father, and all householdings, jobs. They have no time to go to sadhu. So sadhu mercifully, they come to their houses. You see, see, America or any place did not invite invited Swamiji, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj. Even he came door to door everywhere in his old age. Nothing to take, only to give. So, Saman Kumar told, Nija Karjuna Hutava, Mahanta Sabhav, E Tarite E Pamor, Nija Karjuna Hutava, Jan Angar. Means, Sadhu are self satisfied. But, they go to Grihast Asham. Bhakta, Grihastha Bhakta, or Grihastha, general person. They have no time to do Sadhu Sangha. For them they go. What they tell? Listen me. You are part and parcel of God. Eternal servant of God. This is your not place. Eternal place. You will have to be old and you will have to give up the body. And after that, where you will go, you don't know. But you should know that this body is bag of urine, bag of stool, blood, so many things. In the structure there are some bones here and there. And very good, decorated by very beautiful skins, but not nothing. This human life, human form, is the root of hmm, to know who am I. And what is the relation with Krishna? Krishna is supreme personality of God. <coughs> Only by sadhus who are realized, they can tell you, don't waste your time. Labdha sudur dabam vidam bau sambhavanti manusyam arthadam anityam api hadhira turnam jatet na patet anumit javat nise saya visha khalusarga. Krishna is godless, merciful. Out of mercy, he has given this form of human. We have never did anything good that we should come in a human form. Where sometimes animals, birds, trees, creepers, so many. So if he will not Do bhajan, Krishna consciousness, then again you will have to go in the, in the journey, the species of donkeys, monkeys, dogs, hogs, pigs. You will have to go, you will be fishes. And all will, hey, and they eat you. <laughs> don't lose your time. Turnam jate tana pate tana mitta java. Only in human form, in human life, we can attend the service of Krishna, by which we'll be eternally happy. There is no other means. So, before your death, 
you should be prepared to know the relation between you and Krishna. That is eternal relation. Worldly relation for only lifetime. After that, no relation. Anyone go where, anyone go anywhere. So, he is telling that. So, Nardrishi or Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Gosai or Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj, my Guru Dev, the devil whole India and after that whole world they are traveling. Only to tell them and inspire them. Why not once time? Why so many times? I am traveling about 22 times whole world. Why? Oh, each year to remember you, remind you, don't be weak. At the time of initiation, I tell them, begin 16 rounds. But if you cannot do, then begin from 8 or 10. But try to do 16 or more. Haridas Thakur, you to chant 3 lakhs of name. You cannot do, but you can do something. So you should do. Otherwise, when they take initiation at that, oh, I will do. And after that I hear, oh, she or he doing one time, two times, sometimes or nothing. Do you remember, meditate your Diksha Mantra, Guru Mantra? Prabhu, I have no time to Why did they take to? So remind that what Krishna will give, it is very powerful. It can stop the endless pain of endless birth and death. It can give Oh, Krishna praying. What you will desire, all desires will be fulfilled by this name. But not by money. Money cannot give anything. Money will give shok, bhaya and all the these things. Sufferings. Sorrows. Huh? Sorrows, lamentation. And lamentation it will give. So don't do so much effort. If suffering coming without Invitation. Eh? Invitation. Without? Invitation. Eh? Invitation. 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 And comes and writes on our heads and we'll have to enjoy suffering. So if there is happiness, automatically it will come. If we have done something, then wealth will come automatically if you don't want. Don't be worried for that. Worry only for how to achieve Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Prem. So give a pantans on chanting name, services of Krishna, archan, preaching and all other things. Always remind, remember Krishna. Not only Krishna, with Radhika, you should always remember. I also want that here very high class of sannyasis have come. Padmana Maharaj, Tidandi Maharaj, Tirtha Maharaj, Damodar Maharaj, Shauti Maharaj. 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 What name? Avadhut Maharaj. Madho Maharaj. Nemi Maharaj. Nemi Maharaj also. Bhagavad. Oh, Bhagavad. Mahabhagavad. <laughs> also, Jadurani. She has not come for that. Jadurani. 
There are so many. So manage uh, two, three times in morning at ten in evening and then my class. So that you can gain more and more. So you should manage all these things. I know that here a very good prasadam is there here. Nothing to go here and there. In one place Harikatha, here. <laughs> prasadam and to stay here. Hosting also. So go prema nande. You have made It's doing everything. It's just downright illogical. Maybe we should roll it up. No, maybe. Oh, probably. I hope so. Is another? Maybe we should cordon off this corner. Well, stop working on the tower. How many of you know you should roll the presentation? Um, she is 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 I called him before I left, and I'm talking to him, and I said, how does this work out? He said, yeah, it's scam, and, and, you know, it's giving me the tape. I was like, um, I'm going to do a certain offense, you get unlimited damnation. You get unlimited damnation. It's all just a man that I'm going to agree with you. It's just like swinging around from now on. Uh, you got it by car. No. And when those yeah. reactions yeah. are yeah. completed, like you are paroled from that it's not place. Not it's not that's that's more logical than that. From what I've seen, you see only the demons rule. Okay. Uh, anyway, he agreed I should give you all the things. Those next time, it doesn't matter. You don't have any choice in the matter. Like the iron is strong. And they make an example of his subordinates by every once in a while killing he, one of them. I sent him three months ago. So they can all the, the field. He sent two five hundred yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. sent all the, so all the high quality. Uh, so <laughs> we're all here to serve. Yeah, I'm going to make movies. I told you we should understand. This is what basically all of them. Yeah, all of them. We got a body here to serve. Now be careful. Hard drive. Is the cook, so no? then the logic is all the same. It doesn't matter. Yeah, um, <laughs> look at you. My heart's back. 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 My so I when one of the patients is studying and comes and upon this tradition, the, uh, the, the every time a heart attack is done, and there's no need for a few days, the frog spectrum of the frog is done by talking to him about eternal principles and eternal people. So from now on, I'm going to have to be a little bit old when I'm just saying all that. Are part of this eternal reality we have. Like our Lord, I know your father. Our baby tradition says he's on a 300-year-old tradition. I guess we could use...
and he's just in one of the bubbles which come and go. Perhaps all of them. And that gives you some kind of reality on how long I mean, time is. It records, it's the thing is, you can't see what's being recorded. Yeah, I know, if you just open it a little bit. Listen, it's probably 11 years. But even to a little viewfinding, you can't see. No? Which is funny. I thought maybe just a wire or something got pinched on the screen, but even if you look at the phone, you can't see. And it says that's only one. It's just like a walking time bomb. I don't know. No, it's not. That's out of time. Yeah. Is it still under warranty? Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, but it's still under warranty. Samsung? Samsung? Yeah. 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 No, last year I got it's actually exactly the same. So, 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 you saw the results. Yeah, I saw them tomorrow. I probably bought it like June. I thought about buying it. 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 Try it. So it's 25. It says, yeah. In the present, okay, so we'll webcast on our small ones. Hoppers can get. But you can't see. No, phone cards are. It's if you take it. Order for reality, absolutely complete. That's what I'm going to do. I want to encode it 256. You know, archive it on my hard drive. Yeah, Haven't you read enough in this like Shima Baz on the nose and snakes going to bite you and he's going to bite you? Yeah. 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 Your day was in Alachua. There was a snake going around and bit my boy. Everybody's freaking out. I went up and shoved him and killed it. Because it's the 911 and they said you the snake so you know it's poison or it's not. Nobody would touch the snake. But the Vedas say that since there's only one path, then get on that path and just follow it. Hey, Karandar! Watch it. Follow that idea? So we say this path is made in path. Everybody else has walked by. Perendar walks by, he trips on it. By so many pure You were on it too. I'll embarrass you. I never touched it. Did you get it connected again? All day long didn't work. I was going to suggest it. At 5 o'clock, it'll start working again. I was going to say. 5.15, it started working again. He was the one saying. It would be great if we could bury it, actually. What? No, I'm going to roll it up there. I, I can't leave it out all night. And, and that's solid rock of it. I can't go through there. Okay, I'm going back to you. If you don't get to the etymology <laughs> in <laughs> linear time, you have to it's where did the idea come Yeah, but I, I'm afraid of being I can't hear till tomorrow. Through time. I, gave, I bought um, the tent for a plastic guy, I don't think she's using. Yeah, it must have yeah, that connectivity. Hmm. Otherwise, I don't have a complete picture. And if worse comes to worse, you can come to the office and pull house you can always go with non girls. And the girls are staying up in the house. We like to be candid. He himself was a worshiper of Lord Shiva. And then he lost her fresh air. 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 And then he lost her fresh air.
That is Shem. Cesar in the Kabbalah in Mecca. That's what's in there. These Sheilas that they broke, made this offense, put back together. And so we have a presentation of their etymology and can see how they were conceived, how they developed, what were their motives for doing what they did, and the Christians, and the Buddhists, and uh, uh, the Shishos, and uh, the Bedouins, and we can, and the Protestants, and the Shakers, and the Mormons. You I mean, sure? We can pick yeah, anything. absolutely. The oh, the exact same ones. Oh, you do? Yeah. 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 Up, I know. I we thought they were your dad. Okay, but the Vedic tradition is okay. presented something so deep that it says life and consciousness has been going on forever, so you might as well just get a grip and grab a place. So it said, all right, 5,000 years ago, we entered this new dumb phase of time where the memory of modern man deteriorated, so somebody wrote them down. A very special guy with great help wrote down all they know, agriculture, medicine, you know, uh, government, how to fight a war, how to make weapons, how to build flying machines, how to take bell, bell metal and the gold, all this shit's in there. Also, the other things. Um, hey, we're webcasting, we're webcasting. your eternal consciousness out of prison. If you don't want to get out